If you've been curious about online guitar lessons, either to teach or to take online lessons, in this video I'll show you how I got set up, and I'll give you a sneak peek of what my students experience week to week in our lesson. Check out the links in the description to sign up for a lesson and learn more about my studio. So I've been teaching online since 2018, when I realized a student of mine was driving about an hour and a half to our lesson, which made me feel terrible. That's a really long distance for just a 30 minute lesson. At the time I just had one webcam, which is this one you're seeing me on. It's a pretty good fisheye lens webcam. It captured the piano really well, it captured my guitars really well. So we tried our first Skype lesson, and that student's been with me ever since. Eventually I upgraded to Zoom, simply because the experience for me and for my students is a lot better. And little by little, I've been upgrading my setup. So now instead of just having one camera, I have a multi-camera setup and I've upgraded the audio as well. So instead of using the microphone on this camera, I have now recording studio grade audio, which is what you're hearing right now. So this makes my studio incredibly immersive, detailed and informative for all my online students. I'm running my online lessons basically as a live TV broadcast. The webcams I use are HD cameras, two 1080p cameras and one 4K camera. And I switch between them with a stream deck, just depends what I'm teaching. Now all of this is possible because I use OBS, which is a free live streaming software uh, and it's incredibly powerful. Now stick around, later on in the video I'll show you in detail how I use all these scenes to highlight different things on the instruments. Obviously, this being an online music studio, the most important thing should be the sound that you get. If you've ever seen videos or pictures of movie sets, then you've probably seen the guys that hold that big boom mic over the actors. I use the same kind of mic. It's a Rode NTG shotgun mic. It really helps to cut out the ambience like air conditioning, fans, my computer sound, and even the kids playing basketball outside. <laughs> I use an audio interface for all my audio. My guitar, piano, and microphones are all plugged into the interface so it can be as clear as possible. I went with this interface mainly because of the quality of the sound and the software that it came with. It has onboard EQ, compression limiting, plus reverbs and delay. On my guitars, I do add some reverb just so it doesn't sound as dry and lifeless. One thing I should mention quickly without being too quick that I mumble, I've been told that I mumble, <laughs> is lighting is everything. I went super cheap. I got some desk lamps and got some Chinese lanterns and just stuck them around the bulb, kind of like a makeshift diffuser. I've got two lights in front of me. I actually have a ring light whenever I'm using the side camera. For a little bit of ambience, I have a nice table lamp behind me just to make it a little bit warmer. Okay, but the coolest thing about my setup is OBS. That's been the most amazing upgrade that I was able to do. So let's go into more detail about it because that really makes the online experience phenomenal. In general, all instruments get a front view, a top view, and a side view. This one I've combined for both. Plus a whiteboard anytime I need to draw or annotate music. I specialize in guitar, so let's take a look at those. Now often I do demonstrate from this front camera. Since it's a 4K camera, I do get a lot of detail from it. But when I do need more detail, I can zoom in. This one is just the full guitar length, so you can see my strumming hand and my picking hand. Plus I can even bring up the whiteboard in case I want to annotate or read music along with the student. Or I have a split screen that shows my picking hand with my fretting hand more zoomed in. I also have the bird's eye view in case I want to show students what it would be like from their point of view. And I have a MIDI visualizer so I can demonstrate both notes on the staff and on the fretboard. And like I mentioned, I have the side angle and this one I mostly use whenever I'm demonstrating a full song. All of these scenes also double up for bass and for ukulele lessons. And I do have this extra scene for ukulele on its own that is a little bit zoomed in since it's such a small instrument. And even though right now you see a banjo behind me, keep in mind, I just got that one. It'll probably be about six months from the making of this video until I can teach it. Along with guitar and other fretted instruments, I also teach piano and drums. Piano gets pretty detailed and it's been very fun to set up these scenes. I have a scene where I show the entire piano, plus the side view so students can see my posture and technique, plus a piano and sheet music visualizer so students can see in more detail what I'm playing. 
I want more detail, or especially if I'm teaching beginners, I have two zoomed in scenes. This one that covers five octaves. And an extra zoomed in one with four octaves. And in both of them, I can call up the whiteboard whenever I need. For drum set lessons, I use two different scenes to demonstrate rudiments, plus the side view again anytime I want to show good posture and technique. And all three of these have an on-screen metronome so students can practice playing in time with me. And now I said that I had three cameras and I actually lied. I have a secret fourth camera, which is actually my iPhone, and I can set this anywhere in the room. Most of the time I put it by my drum set whenever I need to demonstrate a beat or a groove or anything that I can't demonstrate on a drum pad. Using an OBS plugin called NDI Cam, I can connect my iPhone wirelessly to OBS and broadcast the feed from my iPhone to my PC, even though I don't have a microphone set up around my drum set. And the NTG2 is far from my drum set, it picks it up really, really clearly. You can still hear the articulation on all my cymbals and all my drums, even on the bass drum. When I use this setup, it's often just to demonstrate, since I don't have a vocal mic by the drums. I am hoping at some point to upgrade to an electric drum set, which will allow me to control the sound a lot better. If you're a gamer, you're probably thinking, and I've heard this thousands of times, why don't you stream to Twitch or YouTube? I'm hoping at some point in the future, I'll have time to do that. However, as part of my studio program, I do record custom videos and pre-recorded videos, and I send it through my student portal on Practice Space. Now most of my students, rather none of my students, go this detailed on their side. I often recommend my students get a USB mic like a Blue Yeti, but most of the time a laptop or iPad mic is perfectly fine. Once you join my studio, I'll help you get set up and ready to have the best experience you can have online. Check the links below so you can sign up for a free meet and greet so I can get to know you and know how to best help you. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions you have about online lessons or my setup overall, and I'll see you in class.